System now, then. Huh. <sighs> One day, he will say something. One day. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Must be mm. Christmas then. What makes you say that? <laughs> well, not that. I mean, you know, as far as I know, in this place, they'll turn up in summer. Uh. I was thinking mostly because. The wine is all mulled. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm orange. Good, welcome ladies and gentlemen, and happy advent one and all, or at least for those who choose to observe the time of year. Indeed, what he said. See uh, the description for the small print and <laughs> all other legal ramifications. Hello, welcome back. We're just going to do this very quickly. Sorry, careful, I'll try not to spill this all over the place. Not there. Joy, whilst I get back over there, where it's not going to get in any trouble. The season's greetings. Indeed. Charles. And to you all. Hmm. Mm. Oh, yes. Just right. Just right. Ooh. Oh, lovely. Thank you for joining us again. It seems like our alien interloper has decided to come back home. We didn't have to send out Lassie after him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do sometime. I don't know, a random Lassie film in Cujo or something. Oh, that would be so wrong. <laughs> if you want to see that, though, do let us know. <laughs> Don't know about where it is, where you are, but it's suddenly we are getting a bit of a cold snap at the moment. Well, no, sorry. Remember our in-show narrative. You're getting a bit of a cold snap. We're fine. Well, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Warm and toasty with our mulled wine. Yes. Thank you to everyone who did manage to vote on our poll. Oh, yes. Yes. So if you were with us last month, you'll know that was one of our mashup months, and we were pitting Herbie the Love Bug against the car. We... Run up poll in all the usual places on Patreon, on Twitter, on our community tab, and on Instagram as well. We had not a huge amount, but it was a total of five votes. Okay, fair enough. Three to two, it's a win. Okay, all right. So adding it to ours, <coughs> that's five to two. The bug is a maybe movie. Yay. If we had on the website a roster of winners, <laughs> then it would be on there, but it doesn't. We, we don't at the moment, so... It is here with the fanfare. Thank you again to everyone who voted. And for those who didn't get a chance to, then don't worry. There will hopefully be an opportunity to do something similar at the end of this month. Speaking of which... Oh, yes. Yes. I'm getting the feeling that everything has gone a bit frosty. Oh. Kind of thinking... Jack Frosty? Oh, well, you see, you know, how about I counter-propose with a... A dose of Jack Frosty. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'll take that and I'll see you. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can do this. Fantastic. Bit of a weird one, bit of an odd one, because that one's definitely a Christmas, but I don't think this one is, is it? What? A Christmas movie? Mm, it's not set at Christmas, is it? Yeah. Is it? I didn't It's really... got Christmas trees and everything in it. It wasn't played like a Christmas movie. It's played like a horror movie. Yes, it is played like a horror movie. You know, you know in the same way that, um, I know we discussed it before, that there's almost an argument that Rambo <coughs> First Blood Part 1 <coughs> is a Christmas movie. Y yes. Because there are decorations and trees in the background, even though they never actually allude to it being Christmas. Hey! Christmas tree! Yes. After watching, again, I suppose I was paying more attention to um, to the action than as opposed to the, the set dressing. It's it's interesting, because, I mean, I, I think I can see what you mean, because the, because of the way the set is dressed and things like that, it feels a little bit less Christmassy. The filmmakers actually picked one of the most snow-heavy regions of America to film in, but just before they started filming, they had a massive thaw. Oh, you're kidding. Which is why most of the... Sp Snow you see in the movie is fake, but they they actually had a really snowy place to go and film in. Oh my god! And it didn't it didn't snow again during their filming, which is weird 
that that happened in real life with the filming of this, but that, as part of the narrative, there's a Thor. But yes, yeah. <laughs> well, true, yeah, good point. Good call. They're very, two very different films. Oh, this is insane. I freely agree, this is insane. <laughs> I, still, I still can't believe this was written and directed by the same guy who did the screenplay for Identity. I don't, don't, that just blows my brain. Two completely different movies, and I'm not just talking about genre here. But it is also the um, screen debut of Shannon Elizabeth. I thought it must be, although not by long. It wouldn't have been very long before um, they made the first American Pie. Yeah, that's true. The, oh, they're, they're that goes Whoa. oh geez god bless the internet the other thing that's probably most notable about these two films considering they were made a year apart only a year I thought it was two or three no that's 97 that's 98 okay yeah but that one did have effects by the Jim Henson creature work, creature shop absolutely yeah. and you can tell the quality of the animation of our um, frosty freezer freezer stone well in. they had Henson they also had the budget for CGI you know which these guys clearly did not well this was straight to DVD wasn't it yes so, yes, we are looking at Jack Frost, Jack Frost. This is going to be a maybe movie month, so there'll be seven shows this month. <laughs> Pitch meeting and then an act, a show for each act of our two films. Maybe some changes coming in that respect in the new year. More on that as the month goes along. Keep an eye on our community tab as well, because I will try and detail what we're proposing to do in there. And then you can come back and have your say and say what you think. Run times we're looking at... This one's 135. Maybe. And this one's 125. Mm-hmm. How are we going to do this, first of all, before we look at acts? See, <laughs> the st- I must admit, what threw me was that, because I wasn't expecting Michael Keaton to be in it as long as he is. He's like in it for basically the first act. Yes. I, was, I thought it was something similar where he's in it briefly. And to be then, honest, when I suggested it in my memory, it happened earlier in the film. It happened at like the 10, 15 minute mark, not not the 30 minute mark. But then again, at the same time, it makes sense, especially at that time. You know, if you've got a star like Michael Keaton, you're going to want to keep him physically in the film for as long as possible. Absolutely. Yeah, get what you paid for. Yes. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't thinking this far ahead when I made the <laughs> suggestion, I'll be honest, folks. I mean, if we get the normal maybe movies route, then it would be we take the character of him mm. and put it in there and there and there. And that's going to give us headaches in his own right. I had an idea, but again, it's up to, obviously, we have to decide whether or not that breaks the conditions of what we do. Is if we approach this as we've done on a few recently thematically. Oh. Okay. So we take concept of Bad Jack mm-hmm. and apply it to the plot of this and take the concept of Good Jack and apply it to the plot of this. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, Michael Keaton is the mutation. Well, no, not even that. We can even keep it, I thought, I think it's maybe going too far, we can even keep it within like how the film plays. He dies, he comes back a year later, but when the dead come back, they're not the same. That's oh, what right. I was thinking. Thematically, we can throw into the resentment because of all of this is basically because his son was being a whiny little bitch. Okay, I can see where that goes. It's this one that's the difficult one. Yes. It would take a bit more work, but but the only, as far as I could think about it was, he's still the mutation, he comes back, but in, there's some kind of a moment of epiphany there, and so... He's trying to be the good Jack to the family that put him in prison. The story becomes a journey of discovery and redemption for him. Wow, okay, that's going to be tough. It is, because the character is so two-dimensional. Say, pal, I've got a smoke. Well, he's he's ir- irredeemably evil. He's yes. one of those classic... He's just a freaking bad guy. Mm-hmm. But... God damn it, I was the one who suggested this, so <laughs> somehow we'll find a way to make this work. I think... Even though that feels like a lot of hard work, and I imagine that's how it'll turn out to be. Yes. I've got to agree to it, because I was the idiot who suggested doing these in the first place. <laughs> but again, no, I love it. I love it. It's, I must admit, I was getting a bit worried, because we've kind of done a lot of the major ones. We've done Krampus, we've done uh, Home Alone, we've, we've done... We've, we've done It's a Wonderful Life, for God's sake. Yeah, You yeah. know, we're kind of running out of places to go with... with I mean, I know there is a plethora there are, of Christmas movies, but... Yeah, there are, a, there are at least a couple left that we could play around. Yes. But, uh, yeah, 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 we are getting a bit thin <laughs> on the ground when it comes to good ones. So bring out some new good ones. Yeah, more no good ones. I still haven't seen Violent Night. Uh, I'm no. wondering if that's going to be added to the list of new Christmas movies for me we should have a look we should have a look yes. so the only other one that I can think of as, as which is a kind of a semi-recent one that might be worth looking at at some point would be Bad Santa oh, fucking great I used to own Bad I, Santa I, I, do, I do like Bad Santa I, 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 well, what would like be Bad Santa with 
A Miracle on 34th Street? Oh. <laughs> you see, I would have gone with something like the Santa Claus. Oh. You heard it here, folks. That's next year's, I think. I might have to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You see it all happening in real time, folks. Exactly. That would be the only way that I could see that we're not going to probably break either or both of these within the first act. Yes. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think I think you're probably right. Oh, yes, thank you. Are you yeah, you need more. I'll go on. There's cocaine in it. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, as I was saying, so regular maybe movie rules apply, which means, it's not James, we're going to see if we can put these together. We will allow ourselves two because movies, which means we can change something intrinsic to the plot, the setup, the locations of, of the movies to allow for our new narrative. Yeah. Obviously, it doesn't count that this, this is just the... Uh, the 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 the, uh, the chat about yes. how the rules going to work exactly. Once those are used up, then we have to go with what's there. And if that means the movie breaks, then the movie breaks. Act wise, see this one's got a really weird act structure, <coughs> as far as I could figure mm. out. Do you mean because so much happens in the third act? Well, you see, that was it. Yeah, it, it's like it's out the third act, and you thought you'd come to the climax, and it came to another one, and then it came to another one. Exactly. Um, I mean, I put. Oh yeah, so Billy dies, is, the, is the kid that dies first, which is about twenty six minutes. I thought that was too early. I thought the end of Act One was when the fa- when the rest of his family get killed, which is about thirty six minutes in. So okay. his, his mum and his dad, because that's the first time we really see the snowman doing something. Mm. Uh, that's the first time I think we actually hear him speak and stuff, don't we? I guess. I mean, I have to admit, I thought when the kid got killed was. You think that's fine? Yeah, because it's the first time you see him move. And also, with the timing of the film, that's 25, 26 minutes into an hour, 25-minute movie. Fair enough. And then the end of Act 2... For me, it was Shannon Elizabeth, or Slash, when he arrived at the police station. So my first thought was, when he, the first time he uses his icicles, but again, mm. that was too early, that was about 54 minutes in. But then I put... It looks like I put Jack Test. And, but an hour and two minutes in but yeah basically at the, at the police station at the police station because that's when we see him properly overt in front mm-hmm. of everybody that one I, I struggled with but obviously what did, what did you I think the the first act is pretty clear because it's one year later it's just after the accident one year later everything flips over and you get the new status quo yes of course it is I was uh, I was uh, either side of it I had either his death about 30 minutes in or when he makes the snowman and then the third act turn is so weak I was really not too sure where it went I think it was meant to be when he had that tiny little argument with Jack remember when Jack starts telling him all the things he's supposed to be doing now and being more responsible and getting on the team and trying harder and everything like that and the kid stomps off I think that was meant to be a proper tiff Possibly. I mean, I had Melty just about a minute, an hour and 20 minutes in where they start to ramp up the, the thaw coming and him starting to melt and his... You mean the bit when he's getting to the game and everything's melting? Yes. Yes, right, yes, okay. That's only a couple of scenes. Because that only takes over the narrative for the rest of the film is saving the snowman. Ah, uh, I see. Of course, yes, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Okay, uh, but obviously this <laughs> this just so we know where to call our end of acts when we're doing our episodes, but obviously this may all change when we actually start. Doing oh, it. yes, yes. By the way, sorry, one more thing that I do need to mention about that. Henry fucking Rollins <laughs> oh yes yeah I'm paying a bit of a take, paying a tiny little bit of a wuss for once I know what's going on there he's always the tough guy isn't he yeah Andrew, I don't blame him he worked hard to look that way yeah he turns up he, he turned up in um, Sons of Anarchy as a, as a neo-nazi <laughs> see, I see that that doesn't surprise me yeah <laughs> you see, I saw a thing up with him. I read an interview with him recently, and people are saying, "You know, are you going to go back to to, to to music and stuff like that?" It's like, no, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to be that guy like in his sixties trying to recapture the voice that I had in my twenties. Yeah, I'm done with it. I'm done. He, he did Move it. He on. did a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Kudos to to him. Sorry, that was a bit of a, a tangent there. Uh, what are we gonna? Sorry, this is. What are I'm, we gonna call it? Oh yeah, I've just suddenly thought. Shit, is uh, it gonna be just Jack and Frost? Is it what we're gonna do? I don't know what else to do. So we call this one Jack, mm-hmm. and we call this one Frost. Yes, because of the theme. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, I like that. I like that. I was gonna say have a star, but oh well, I'll, I'll take an early star if I can get one. Uh, ah, sorry for that. There we go. Thank you. Almost completely forgot to do a shout out. You kind of got carried away. But I that's... literally just realised myself. Yeah. So this is for our good friend Paul, uh, otherwise known as the one and only Esmaniac. Paul is a really good friend of ours. He does a 
a, a range of different things on his channel. Uh, he does some quizzes. Uh, he's been doing a bit more kind of like synthwave videos and stuff. Yes. Uh, normally featuring sort of um, sound bites from movies and things like that. Do check it out. Obviously, link up here somewhere and in the description below. Thank you so much for all your support and all your help recently. It's it's been really heartwarming. So, thank you. And maybe one day, sometime in the new year, we will see your cheeks grace the sofas of delirium. Join us. <laughs> so, which one do you want to do first? Oh, oh, God. I want to <laughs> do Frost first. Yes. I want to get the easy one out of the way. So we've got time to plan for... Yeah. Yeah, because maybe along the way we might still get some ideas for this. Fantastic. That's us done for today. Please do come back and join us on Wednesday when we will be looking at Act 1 of Frost, starring Michael Keaton not going full on Beetlejuice. Not at all. No. That's not going to happen. Anyway, until then, have a wonderful weekend. Have a brilliant start to next week. And we will see you on Wednesday. As always, guys. TTFN. Ba 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 